Hi everybody, this is CT Readings and this reading is going to be for Virgo, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising and Mina signs. Let's see what are the messages that pop out for you, Virgo. Check out the link in the description box, Virgo. It's going to take you to the extended and in the extended, we will clarify more for the person you're connecting with. How are they thinking, feeling about you, their next moves towards you, outcome of the situation, advice, oracle messages and love notes. So do check it out. I am going to be linking below for further guidance. Okay. Now let's have a look at what's up. Virgo. Virgo. Okay. Let's see if you want extra details do get the extended because i cover a lot about your person as well as guidance for you okay so we've got the king of wands and the queen of swords that fell for you bottom of the deck we have the queen of wands interesting with the nine of cups um hmm. i think virgo you want somebody okay it's like you want to be in a situation or you are passionate about a certain connection but you're not really expressing that and the reason for that is that your person is not expressing that either okay let's see nine of wands <sighs> I think you are closing yourself off despite the fact that you want to say a lot. <laughs> so I don't know why you're doing that. But to me, it looks like somebody's hair is very closed off. I think it's your energy. Um, but you're so passionate about something. You're so passionate about something. Why are you closing off? Um, I feel like you want to say something. You're seeking for the truth. You're seeking for clarity. Some of you are not communicating because you're kind of waiting for this person to give you a hint. So at least you know where is this going. Maybe that's why you're not communicating. But I feel like you have a lot within you right now that needs to come out. Virgo, okay? There's a lot that you are keeping to yourself. See? So I feel like you are right now focused on your happiness, on your growth, on your expansion. You're seeming very closed off. Even if you're closed off, I see you wanting to be in a certain situation, okay? So I'm not sure where is that, you know, stemming from because look at that. So somebody has been inconsistent here, I feel. <clears throat> I think maybe you did express yourself in the past, but you didn't get the result you wanted. Okay, so now you're closing off. And to me, it looks like you have your guard up, Virgo, and... Your feelings are something else and what you're showing is completely something else. Wanting to express but not expressing. I feel like you're kind of looking at your person to give you some sort of clarity. You may be expecting communication from them. To me, more than communication, it looks like you're seeking for the truth. You're seeking for clarity here, okay? Yeah, more than the truth. Um, sun energy. I think you are focused on yourself. You're trying your best to uplift yourself and focus on other things in life. But there's still a choice that you're not making. And I feel like you're purposely not making that choice. 
not because you don't want to but it's seeming like you're very very want to but you're not still not making that choice for whatever reason i feel like there's something you're not saying virgo just because you feel like it's gonna cause maybe an argument or something or it's gonna maybe cause trouble but you're still expecting it i think you're expecting your person to come up to you but your person is being very detached okay this is somebody who calculates their moves. This is somebody who thinks be thinks before doing anything, okay? And sometimes they are perceived as cold and detached, but maybe that is not the case, you know? Maybe this person isn't cold and detached, okay? Maybe it's just who they are as a person, right? So I feel like this person takes time before they open up. You want to be in a relationship, okay? Uh, you kind of see a lot of happiness and a be-all, end-all kind of a situation with this person, Virgo. But for whatever reason, you're not, you know, you're not expressing that. We have the Knight of Wands, the Eight of Cups, and the Ten of Wands. So it looks like you walked away from a certain situation, but not completely walked away. There's still passion, there, there's still a desire, and I still see you looking back, okay? I see you looking back. I see you wanting to connect with somebody. Mm -hmm. I feel like you remember this person and the time you two have spent. Bottom of the deck. Like I said, Nine of Cups, Queen of Wands, the Page of Wands. You want to communicate, but I feel like there is there is something you're also like, what is it? You're confused. You're not feeling emotionally clear because I feel like sometimes you have that emotional clarity and sometimes you don't. Oh, God. I think some of you are tired of waiting for this person, Virgo. You're like... You know, this person can't be taking that amount of time. I feel like they've made you wait. Like I said, this is somebody who takes a lot of time to make up their damn mind. And you haven't got time for that. You feel like if this person is going to take even more time, you're just going to end things. Okay? You kind of want to explore what's out there for you. But at the same time, you want things to be working out with this person. It just looks like you do not want to be wasting your time because this person's way too slow. Okay. What is this Ace of Swords and the Sun? I think it's going to take some time, Virgo, for you guys to reconnect. Um, there's a lot of healing going on. And I think somebody here needed to detach in order for them to have a better viewpoint in order for them to understand things better if that makes any sense if, if it was you or your person somebody had to detach in order to find some sort of a truth and heal their, heal, heal themselves heal their heart okay whatever you're trying to manifest with this person i think it's taking some time and that time taking, ooh, we have the Three of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, and the Eight of Pentacles. Hmm. They're still very interested in you, Virgo. But to them, it looks like they're, this is a messy situation. Okay, they're still very interested. They want to work on things with you. But I don't know, they're looking back and they're thinking that there is something messy here. Now, I don't know what happened between the two of you that caused this, but yeah, I feel like they want to communicate with you, but they're, they're trying to make up their mind what to do next. Um, and at the end of the day, they do want you. They are seeming detached, but that is your perspective, Virgo. They're not really detached. See the page of ones. I feel like there is going to be communication. There's a lot of desire with the knight of ones, the page of ones. Okay. But I feel like you come across a little bit more mature than this person does, Virgo, okay? You miss them. You miss them. But I, I don't think you're expressing that. 
Let's see. <clears throat> Maybe you want stability here with this person and they were kind of not being sure about that. You know, where is this relationship going? So that that could be the reason why you stepped away. And right now, yeah, lack of stability, I feel like caused the situation to become stuck. But I think Virgo, you've had you've had like a change in your perspective or something very like changed here in this reading. Something in your life might have changed. I don't know what is it, but the way you're looking at things or the way you're doing things in your life, you you might have changed something in your life. I don't know what is it, but <clears throat> oh, you're feeling you're feeling like your person's neglecting you. You're feeling like they're not paying enough attention to you, okay? Or they were not paying enough attention to you. Like I said, I feel like Virgo, this person wants you, but at times they come across as somebody very detached and you kind of perceive it as them not giving you enough attention or love because you give them a lot, okay? So you felt like your love and your your whatever you were doing for this person wasn't well reciprocated. So that's why you took a step back. You're not feeling appreciated, but that that's not the case. They do appreciate you. I feel like they want to communicate with you. They want to talk. They want to talk. The four of wands. Okay. Um. Hmm. That is my laptop. Okay. I feel like... I don't know. I do see this... Go Let me tell you something, Virgo. I just go in my head. If there is something new that you have done or you're wanting to do for your career, finances, goals, a new project, a new business venture, it's going to be very beneficial. I think you're going to be getting more recognition in your work. Like I said, something in your life is changing and to me it is looking like your finances and something related to your house or buying a home, investing in a property, something like very changed here that is leading you towards your stability, whatever that might be. I see progress, I see transformation, okay? Check out the link in the description box. To see what is your person thinking, feeling about you, their next move towards you, outcome of the situation, advice, oracle messages, love notes, and guidance from the universe, as well as um, messages from your person. And where is this relationship going? Okay. So playfulness and separation. I do think that somebody here had a hard time committing and that caused separation so one person here wanted commitment and the other person was taking their sweet time and that caused separation it's like you both want one another but you both are in your like you're in your thoughts about them they're in their thoughts about you oh my goodness divine timing you know what, Virgo, things are going to happen when they're supposed to happen because there's still insane attraction between the two of you. There could be somebody new as well who finds you very attractive, who kind of like, yeah, somebody new maybe who finds you very attractive, but this past connection, ooh, I feel like the person on your mind, you two have insane chemistry, you two have insane passion for one another. But for some reason, the situation is requiring patience. It is requiring time. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning. Yeah, I do think you're going to be reconnecting with one another, but it's going to take some time. For some of you, it might happen fast, but it's like your person's making up their mind. It's not like they do not want you. See, a win-win outcome is forecast. Full moon in Libra. You could be dealing with a Libra, a Sagittarius, Aquarius, 
Gemini, Sagittarius, like I said. Okay, Cancer is here too. Step out of your comfort zone. Something is holding you back. Like I said, something that needs to be said. I see you waiting for this person. Conclusions are within reach. I think it's very obvious. Something is very obvious. But it's like seeing something but choosing not to see it kind of a situation. So somebody is being stubborn here. A personal issue reaches resolution fell on the floor for you. Cancer energy. So see, I think you both are going to be reconnecting. You both are going to be resolving this. It just It's just going to take some time, okay? A new romantic cycle begins at the bottom of the deck. Like I said, it's at the bottom of the deck for a reason right now. Um, you're not really making the first move, but there is going to be... A new beginning in love for you okay so that's about it those were the energies that popped out for virgo give this video a like and subscribe to my channel check out the link in the description box it's going to take you to the extended and in the extended we will see how your person think and feeling about you their next moves towards you outcome of the situation advice oracle messages and love notes so do check it out i am going to be linking it below take care and bye, -bye.